All right. So, children, word meanings. So, I said write the meanings or the synonyms. We wanted the synonyms of the words. Wily. Wily cat. Remember? Cat and the mouse. Cunning. C-U-N-N-I-N-G. Crafty. These can be the synonyms. Cunning. Crafty. Frosty. So, when there is frost. Right? So, it means chilly. C-H-I-L-L-Y. Chilly. Frosty means chilly. Alright? Or it could also mean something which is not very clear. Because when there is frost in the window panes, you can't see anything clearly to the other side. Right? So, either you say translucent or chilly. Christening. We have discussed this a lot. Christening means the naming ceremony that happens. Christening. So, naming. Sauntered. Walk at your pace, leisurely. Right? So, a leisurely walk, slow walk, saunter. Glad. Happy. Glad means happy. Now, antonyms. Near. Far. Far is the antonym of near. Far. Refused. Refused means not to accept. So the opposite of refuse would be accept. A-C-C-E-P-T. Look at the spelling. A-C-C-E-P-T. Accept. Accepted in this case because it was in the past tense. Refused. Loud. Don't speak in a loud voice. So, soft voice. Soft. Selfish. Selfish is one who wants to keep everything for himself. So the opposite of selfish would be generous. G-E-N-E-R-O-U-S. Generous. G-E-N-E-R-O-U-S. Next word. Giant. So what could be the opposite of giant? Dwarf. D W A R F. One word dwarf. Another could be pygmy. P Y G M Y. Pygmy. All the pygmies are small people, you know. Pygmy. Another word could be midget. M I D G E T. Midget. Alright. So just remember these words. Now write the past tense of the following catch. Caught. C-A-U-G-H-T. Caught. Burst. Past tense remains the same for burst. I burst a balloon, balloon yesterday. Not balloon as many people say. Balloon yesterday. Win. Won. I won the match. Limp. When you walk with a limp, you know, can't walk properly. So limped. L-I-M-P-E. D L I M P E D limped. Lie. I was lying on my bed. So lie, the past tense is lay. Lie, lay. Okay? Lie, lay, lane. So lie on the bed. I was lying on the bed. So I lay on the bed yesterday. Completely the whole day I was lying in the bed means I lay on the bed. And I had lain on the bed before my mother woke me up. Alright. So lie, the past tense is L-A-Y, lay. Although there is another word called lay, which means to put down. Alright. So the past tense of that lay remains a lay and a late. Right. So the past tense of that lay remains late. Lay, late, late. Right. Late. Sing. Sang. S A N G. Speak, spoke. I spoke with my friend over the phone. S P O K E. Fight, fought. F O U G H T. F O U G H T. Wake, woke. My mother woke me up early in the morning. Woke, fall, fell. The pen fell from my hands and it broke. 
Hope you did well here. Last one. So true and false. Correct and incorrect, that is. Ravi don't like me. Absolutely hideous and wrong. Ravi is singular, doesn't. Go back to the video on don't and doesn't. So Ravi doesn't like me. I has a car. No, I can't has a car. I have a car. Although I is singular, but with I and you, we always use the plural verbs that we have discussed many a times. Many a time now, right? So I have a car. They have a lorry. No error. They have a lorry. H-A-V-E. You and I have been there. Have been there. Absolutely correct. It have a big clause. Oh, such a rotten sentence. It has. H-A-S. Has. Okay. It is singular. It don't bite. It doesn't bite, my dear friends. Not don't. Singular. Doesn't. Does you go to school? Do you go to school? Not does. Do you go to school? I pray at the St. Anthony's Church. I told you, churches that started with the names of people or saints, do not take the. Remember that video on articles? Hmm? So no the here. It's incorrect. We must be nice to poor. We must be nice to the poor. Whenever we are talking about a class of people, the poor, the rich, the angry, the hungry, right? So the. I saw some hairs on the table. H-A-I-R-S? No, absolutely not. Never use hairs. We'll talk about this in further videos, right? So hairs is not there. Although I've been pointing this out to you all the time I meet you. Right, so hair, not hairs. Okay. If in this test, which was out of 40 marks, including the spellings, if you have scored less than 30, then you need to revise a lot. And it also gives me an idea that means you're not reading a lot at home. Start reading. The only way to master English is to read a lot. Please remember that. If you have scored above 35, you're doing fine. Alright, so you calculate your scores and send them to me now and have a good day. Thank you.